are Sarah and Marek. A couple months ago, we decided to start our YouTube channel, and it's been a whirlwind of an adventure so far. We've been saving up to go traveling, and have been on the lookout for the cheapest way to travel internationally, and we think we may have just found it. Subscribe and come along for our budget adventures. So after months and months of waiting and planning and then plans changing, we have finally made it to our first overseas workaway in the UK. And we are so excited to be here and to be traveling overseas. So we wanted to give you guys a little inside look into our first workaway and the kind of work that we do here. We have been working a little bit more than we thought we would, but I think that every workaway is different and we'll just see how things play out as we go along. So you may be wondering why we're randomly sitting in some swings. <laughs> we just came to the local playground for a nice quiet place to record this video. So for this workaway, we are actually staying in a tiny town, like incredibly small, a town called Coveney in England. And this place is just so unique to us that we won't be telling you too much about it just yet, but we will actually be making a video next week all about this place. So in our time here, we've actually been here for a few weeks, but we didn't whip out the camera as soon as we arrived. We first wanted to get a good feel of all the tasks and everything that we have to do in our time here. And basically what we found out is that we do three main tasks per day, which we'll show you during the course of this video, as well as the other odd jobs that we've had to do during our time here. So without further ado, let's show you the kind of work we've been getting up to here. Well, thank you for the lovely introduction, you two. So, as you can see, I am carrying an extra member on my face. <laughs> the reason for that is actually because the charging port in the bathroom is actually broken. So I'm having to find another place to go and shave. So each day we generally start out the same after setting out breakfast at 8 o'clock every morning. We then strap on full work attire right down to the gum boots or the wellies as they refer to them in these parts and then we head over to the horses so let's go wake them up and mend to them for the day You know, we actually have to wet the hay because one of the horses actually has hay fever. So this is how we start each day. Even when it's our off day, we have to first make sure that we go down there in the mornings, muck out the stables and make sure that the horses are happy. But one thing that you guys can't experience through this is the smell of the stables. <laughs> it, is, it is quite eye-wateringly 
smelly. And you just have to sometimes go outside and take a break. And also another thing that I was not aware of before coming to work with horses is just how much excrement <laughs> horses can make. They're literally only in the stables for a few hours at night and just the levels that they make is just astounding. Because they pretty much just eat all day every day. So I guess that kind of makes sense. It has to go somewhere. <laughs> And the next job that we tend to do for the day is walking the dogs, which I particularly enjoy because it's nice to get out and get some fresh air and just go for a walk and obviously take them with you. So that's nice. So it's time for the poop packet. <laughs> Come on, Bonnie. Bonnie's decided <laughs> to poo only like one minute into the walk, so time to pick it up. Rich, I haven't even started walking yet, and Tartan has gone straight next to Bonnie's one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. After getting back from taking the dogs for a walk and having a little bit of a break, it's time to make lunch and that generally is our job as well, which we quite enjoy. We like having control over what meals that we make and Marek really enjoys cooking <laughs> and we enjoy cooking together, so it's quite a nice job. Oh, well hello there and welcome to the Master Chef Kitchen, the place where culinary dreams come true. <laughs> So Marek found this really cool Tesco's magazine over here that we have been using and it has recipes in it. So it has, I think it's four recipes, five recipes that serve four people and they had a list of all the ingredients you would need for all of those meals for 20 pounds. So it was a great deal, very yummy recipes. So we're actually doing all of them over again. And that's what we'll be making today, one of those recipes for lunch. So after letting our food settle just for a few minutes, we then actually have to... <laughs> Hello. There are cows in the field behind us. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So after letting the food settle just for a few minutes, we actually have to then rush back out to the stables because the sun is actually setting incredibly early these days. When we first arrived, the sun set at half past five, but in the few weeks that we've been here, it's actually moved quite considerably earlier. And we actually have to make sure that we're out by three o'clock already because by four o'clock, you can basically see nothing anymore. So let's head out for our last task for the day. So welcome back to the ranch. Two things have happened since we last spoke. I managed to get a shave fantastic and we've also got two more horses joining the clan there are actually four horses that stay here but because of the i actually don't know why i'm not <laughs> i don't really understand but two of them have been taken to another field in the other village and we've actually recently just brought them back so now it means that there's double or twice the amount of work now which is okay because because we've actually done all the mucking and all the hard work in the morning that means that the part that we actually have to do now is really chilled and really relaxed all we have to do is get the hair ready get their supper ready and then just put them to bed let's go and finish up for the day 
So the reason that two horses <laughs> go on in another field is because it has to do with the amount of grass here and the amount of grass and feeding area available and the different times of year. So at a certain time of year, the horses are moved across to a field in another area in town where there's obviously a lot of grass and feeding area for them. And then at a different time of year, they come back here and then they're here when there's grass and it's lush and ready for them to eat again. Perfect, thank you. That's the reason right there. <laughs> okay, so now we just want to introduce all the horses that stay here. So this is Lily, she's actually six months old, hello, and her mom is just over there, I'll introduce her to you now. Hi Lily. <laughs> so Lily is stealing the spotlight, but this is actually her mom. This is Fuchsia. So Fuchsia is Lily's mom and Petal's mom, I'll show you guys Petal in a minute. So this is Petal. <laughs> and Lily's coming to steal the spotlight again. Playful little foal that she is. And one last horse to introduce. <laughs> this is the one and only boy. This is Phil. Hey Phil. Say hello. <laughs> He's a cutie pie, like they all are actually, very sweet horses. So our jobs to do with the horses there's a few. There's generally mucking out the stables, putting them out in the field or bringing them in in the evening to go to bed, feeding them, getting their hay ready as well, and mucking out the field, which is pretty much when I say mucking out, I just mean picking up poo basically. And those are pretty much the jobs around the horses and the stable area is just like cleaning it up, mucking it out, that sort of stuff. So that's the horses done for the day. Now on to our last and Marek's favorite job of the day. So these are some of the other odd jobs that we've done during our time here.
shows anything. So, click me. Ready. So we did work more than we thought we would and technically more than the hours that WorkAway puts out, like five hours a day is generally the norm. But the cool thing with WorkAway is if you are unhappy at a particular place or with the work that you're doing, you can always speak to your host or if you want to, you can actually leave and go to a different WorkAway position or a different place if you want to. It's not as set in stone as once you arrive and you've agreed on a specific period of time, you're not allowed to leave or anything like that. It's very informal almost in a sense. So for us in our particular situation, we were quite happy to carry on and stay here and do the work that was necessary. Uh, we enjoyed the people here and also it's a lockdown currently so there wasn't really much else that we could actually be going and doing right now anyway so it's nice to work with the animals and we enjoyed the work that we did either way. But with all that being said we really really have enjoyed our time here. One of the best parts for us is that we've actually made friends along the way and we've met fellow workaways. One of the guys we were actually staying with Hello Emmanuel. <laughs> we actually didn't get a chance to film with him because everything just happened so fast and then he ended up going back to yes, Italy again. But he is in some of our yes. little clips. You will, you will see him in, in a couple of videos. Yeah, our and Italian we've, friend. Yes, and we've also met another friend, another Spanish friend. His name is Marcus mm -hmm. and he went and showed us around places as well. Yeah, that was quite nice. So it opens up opportunities for you to experience people from different cultures and make new friends and have new opportunities. So we're really enjoying work away so far. And another bonus of this place is that the food never ran dry. <laughs> <laughs> there was a never ending supply of food mm. so we could just go and eat as much as we want. Because I know that some work away places, some places don't actually provide food. And some places, if they do provide food, they only provide you a set amount of food per day. But here, no matter what time, no matter when it was, if you were hungry, you mm. could just go into the cupboards and you can go and eat as much as you want, which is very, very cool. Yeah. Oh, also on top of the food situation is the cost that we wanted to mention to you guys. So in our time of being here, which has been for nearly a month already, we have literally spent zero money, mm. like nothing. We haven't had to pay for anything yet, besides for tickets and stuff to get to our next workaway place, which is very exciting. <laughs> we have literally had to spend zero money. So this is like, we were just chatting about it the other day, and this really is the cheapest way to travel. And it is just such a cool way to travel as well, because I mean, we're in a place called Coveney and remember we won't tell you too much about it this week <laughs> we'll tell you about it next week we could have never imagined in our wildest dreams that we have ever found ourselves in a place like this and just traveling through a work where you really do get a feel for what it's like to live in a place you get a feel for the local culture you just get to meet so many people and it's just such an incredible way to travel and really are loving it at this moment mm. but thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode we really hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to leave us some love in the comments, smash that like button and subscribe so that you can carry on joining us for our European adventures moving forward. And we'll see you guys back again next week Friday. <coughs> Damn it, what was happening what with my was voice? Happening with your voice? You just kept soldiering on. Bow. That was a loud one. Kitchen scene, take one. So we are cleaning out the stables, which or mucking out the stables, so cleaning the poo out of the stables. And this piece of poo right here <laughs> is literally in the shape of their foot, their hoof. So one of them did a poo, stepped in their poo, and then made this little like pancake <laughs> poo that's shaped like their foot. <laughs> <laughs>